Hey everybody, how's it going? I am Squeedy and we're going to go over some patch notes from Ashes of Creations Week 2 of Alpha 1 testing. Um, it's July 22nd and this should be a really quick video, something I think I'm going to start doing more often now. So uh, let's get into it. Alright, so first we have is the environment fixes. Um, none of these patch notes are that exciting to me, um, besides one later on, but... It's not really the biggest thing in the world. It sounds like they're really tweaking stuff to get some new stuff. You know, new, new cool, interesting things added. Uh, so first up for the environment we have, they fix level load, level unloading. Sorry. Uh, basically, when you're spawning, respawning under the terrain, it'll just correct you so that doesn't happen. Which I don't think they're ever going to, you can ever fix totally in a game. It just happens. But they're probably to a point where it just really doesn't, it's not as big of a occurrence. Uh, they also fixed lighting issues near dungeons, which this was, wasn't was that, that big of a deal, but it was kind of annoying when you're riding horseback and you're just going through a nice, you know, foresty area, and then suddenly it's really dark. Not like pitch black, but it gets really, really dark. Like the color from the dungeon you're nearby kind of spills out in the world. And then you ride maybe about 20 more feet, and then it's gone. So, and sometimes if you get in a weird spot, it can kind of clip back and forth real bad. And it really just, it got annoying. But they fixed that. Um, they also fo fixed, I'm reading ahead. They fixed road foliage tweaked near starting area. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Just sounds like they fixed some minor foliage. Uh, it's probably clipping through the ground or maybe some flying trees I saw a couple times. But nothing too great there. Uh, moving on, they worked on some NPCs. Basically at the starting area, it says it fixes... Fixes for initial animated armor population. Um, I assume they're turning down the speed of their respawn. Um, I thought they were pretty fine as was, or as is, or was now. Um, but they did, they were pretty quick on the respawn. It could kind of overwhelm you if you really weren't paying attention. Uh, moving on, we go to the economy. Uh, basically, the, it's really simple stuff. Fix for purchasing houses. I guess you can buy a house. One of my guildies bought a house today. Um, I've yet to get on. I got to get that and check it out. I'm probably going to go bum in his house. Um, and then they also had a fix for gold exploits. I wish I knew about this beforehand, uh, but it sounds like people were getting some crazy, crazy amounts of money from just turning stuff in, whatever it was. I really didn't dig into it too much. Uh, I guess it's fixed now. Uh, also, we have bosses. Uh, the in They increased the pyroclastic Vimerling boss. Hopefully I said that right. HP from 50,000 to 150,000. So that's a hell of a big jump. <laughs> 100,000 increase. I didn't really fight this boss too much. Um, I didn't down it at least so far in the testing. But if they're jumping it that much, that means there's either something bugged and they you can kill it really quick. Or it's just way too easy right now. So some, they're, you know, they're fixing it. Uh, next section is mounts. Uh, they fixed Invisible Rider bug. I don't feel like that's a huge issue. It, it, it was kind of funny riding around on a horse <laughs> and no one could see you. Um, so that was, I, that happened a couple times to me in some guildies. We, we, could, we didn't see each other, but we saw our horses riding around. Uh, fixed teleporting while mounted. I honestly can't say I experienced this. Um, at least that I could tell on my end and nobody ever made a comment to me that I was playing with. So, sounds good. Uh, fixed player movement desync on dismount. Can't really say I, I witnessed this either too much. Uh, once in a while, you would kind of not be where your mount was. Um, it happened once real bad to one of my guildies where they were maybe 100 meters behind where they actually were. Or they, they dismounted and there was a, like a 100 meter, 100 feet delay or so where they were and where they, you know, and then actually standing and it, it it caught up it wasn't that bad it actually caught up real quick i think they, they did like a uh one of those dodge rolls and then it, it they, their body just whoop, just synced right up with it so easy um fixed mount launching into the air spawning in the air and walking prematurely in the air um i had it a couple times where they would be walking in the air but not that high off the ground maybe two three feet um, spawning in the air was kind of what the walking in the air was when they would spawn. They would just kind of walk 
but fixed mount launching into the air. I haven't had that since an early alpha build, like a pre-alpha test. Um, so I haven't seen that much, but that's good. Uh, the last part of mounts is fixed issues with mount dismounting. Don't know what the issues were. Um, I assume desyncing was what they kind of referenced up above and things like that. So, okay. Uh, miscellaneous section. They added the ability to cap FPS, which I would I think would for lower and PCs that'd be really positive for. Um, so that's good. So that's all I can say. <laughs> I don't know. I, I haven't. I, my my rig is too is pretty new, so I, it's I don't run into issues like that. So I don't know if that was a problem for people. And I really didn't see it in Discord too much. So it's a, it's, it's a help for somebody. Um, they also fix for logging into the game in first person mode. Uh, never experienced that once. Don't know anyone that did. So. Okay, that, that's probably just a simple little toggle bug, maybe, uh, in the settings. Players will now be teleported if they manage to reach outside of the map's boundaries. Um, I didn't reach the map, personally, I didn't reach any map boundaries or go outside the boundaries in this Alpha 1 testing so far, but the pre tests I did um, once or twice. Um, but there was a wall, like, that really, like, there, it was like an invisible wall that stopped me really hard way out there, so I didn't get too far. And then fix for walking on initial load. Um, I've had this a couple times. I've had the I've had the walking bug during my gameplay usually. I haven't noticed if it's when I've loaded in or not in the different zones or like used a ferry or something. But you know, I, I hopefully that fixes it because being stuck walking is like the worst thing in this game when you got to travel really far. Um, so yeah, but that, that's all the patch notes, not too many fixes. I assume next week there's going to be some, maybe a little more, or maybe throughout the, this weekend. Um, I'm hoping that they're going to add another class in before this alpha one is done. Maybe like the ranger or the rogue or what else? There's the fighter they could bring in. I think that'd be a pretty good one, but I hope, I hope they add something else. To this testing, or this testing is going to be real difficult to do, um, considering how many quests are still bugged that they didn't fix. It looks like in this in this patch, um, it's just it's it's a pain to get past level ten. From what I'm gathering, uh, you really got to grind at it, and I don't think that's what they ne they necessarily intended for us to do in this alpha test. But if that's what they want, that's what they want. So that's about it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, you know, like, subscribe, share the video, come back again, leave a comment, um, let me know what your thoughts are on these update patch notes, if they're good or not, or, you know, if, if they matter. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in uh, the next Ashes video. So, bye.